What's up guys, your boy Sully the Great One back at again. This time I am going to go over my stream on PS4. How I set it up, what programs I use, and how I get all the audio working. Stay tuned. All right, so now today I'm going to go over how I set up my stream for PS4. Now it's pretty simple. I found a quick workaround um, that a lot of people haven't been trying that I noticed that works pretty well. So this is what I do. First, I use the Elgato HD60S. Now with the Elgato, I set it up by plugging the PS4 into the actual device. So you take the HDMI of the PS4 going out to the TV, but instead of taking it to the TV, you put it in the device here. Then this is the, the actual 4K one. So this has USB-C, so you plug the USB-C from this device to the actual tower. Now this will transmit all the sound and the, the actual display of the game to the software, the Elgato software that you have to turn on to actually run uh, the actual program from a capture stamp. Now you can plug this remaining HDMI into the back of a monitor, but you really don't have to. So this is optional for the streaming purposes of how I'm gonna do it. All right, so now I wanna walk through how I have the software set up in OBS. So right now, as you can see, I have my, my hexagon. This is one of the free templates OBS uses. I have that available here. Don't mind the screen, we'll get rid of it here in a minute. But the biggest thing I wanna show you is I use display capture. Display capture is key here. I wanna make sure I lock that so we don't do anything with it. But display capture allows me to capture everything within my monitor. That's why you see like a bunch of these multiple windows because it's capturing everything in the monitor. You notice like people like Dr. Disrespect and a few other streamers do this, but I don't think they share it with you. So now when I move Streamlabs over to my other monitor, I'm gonna open up the actual HD capture, uh, game capture software that comes uh, with the Elgato. Now this is gonna be huge because again, remember I'm capturing my display, nothing else. And as you can see here, before I turn on my PlayStation, I'm gonna show the sidebar. So this is the sidebar. So it shows game capture HD 60 S. This is the 4K version. I'm able to control all the game audio. Now this is gonna be very important and I'll go into a little bit of detail about that. But I really don't mess with anything else here. None whatsoever. You can use the Elgato, the stream and commentary and all that other jazz. I don't. I use Streamlabs for my notifications and we'll go over that a little bit. Um, but then everything else I use, I use, um, I just use this as, you know, to share my screen. So I hide the sidebar here and I'm able to turn on my PlayStation at that point and it's going to bring up the instant gameplay. The instant gameplay is a feature that Elgato has that pushes out the, the actual um, audio and video of the system. So as it loads up here, you're gonna be able to see that I play directly from this monitor, my PlayStation. I don't look at the TV or other PlayStation that it's hooked up with. And to really tell you, you don't even have to have another monitor or PlayStation. You just hook up the HDMI cable to the device and put the, uh, and then transmit all the data through the USB-C cord that we talked about earlier that goes into the back of the computer. So you could do this with a laptop or desktop. You don't have to have a crazy powerful computer, which is another reason why I like it. Okay, so now I got my Vantage controller turned on and I'm gonna go navigate. And look at that handsome devil right there, Sully the Great One. That was at a wedding, I took that photo. All right, so. We go here and as you can see, I'm playing PlayStation, real time, no lag, none of that other bull crap. <clears throat> so now we're able to actually transmit all the sound from the PlayStation to the desktop, which allows Streamlabs, the Streamlabs here, so see here how I'm picking up the desktop audio, that's the PlayStation song. And that's me going through. So that's me talking in my microphone that you can see here. That's my microphone. And this desktop sound is getting picked up from the Elgato capture card. So it's picking up all the sound from the PlayStation. So that's where that comes from. Now, the cool thing about this is, okay, how do you talk to party? Now you can talk to the party. You can talk to friends chat. You can do everything. 
because you come down here the sound display and you go to audio output settings and you make sure everything HDMI out so all the sound is coming from that HDMI cord that I showed you earlier that is plugged into the device so if I was in game or in party chat you're gonna be able to hear everybody speak and chat away now the big question is okay how do you talk to them that's a good question so I use let me grab it this snowball microphone it's crazy that the PlayStation 4 is plug and play and the Xbox One X is not. So any USB microphone will work on the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 4 Pro. Okay, so now I'm gonna plug in the microphone. And when I plug in this microphone, it's gonna recognize it, see at the top here. It's gonna recognize it. It says microphone switch to USB microphone. So now I have a microphone plugged in. And now I can come down here to audio devices and, and I, can I can adjust, adjust the, the microphone, microphone level. Wow. wow. It's, it's a little, a little high. high. So, so you're, you're hearing me twice, twice. but what, what you're, you're seeing on the screen, screen is the, the microphone. microphone. Here, so, so let, let me mute, mute this. this. So now you're actually only hearing me from the snowball mark microphone all right so let me back out of that but yeah you come in here and you can adjust the microphone level for the snowball microphone so now my chat can hear me here my snowball microphone's here and now i can communicate 100 percent with both the stream and uh people i play with so the only drawback that i see from this is maybe the quality is not 100 percent there um, when I stream to Twitch, when I stream to YouTube, it all looks clear as can be. Um, all the videos that I upload to my own YouTube channel um, have been used by Display Capture. Um, some of the videos that you see here and part of the video that you see here is going to be Display Capture. Um, so I think it's, you know, working pretty well for me. It's my little walk around, my little, uh, my little hack, I guess. Um, of using it there's going to be a lot of other videos out there that require a bunch of cables and all this other nonsense and it's a, just so much simpler doing it this way all right guys there you have it that's my walkthrough of how i set up my stream on ps4 do me a huge favor if you have any questions leave them in the comments below if you love the video give it a thumbs up i greatly appreciate it if you didn't like the video let me know why I love to hear feedback and I love to hear some of the disputes a lot of you guys have because I'm definitely open for the conversation. Do me a huge favor and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and look out for more videos like this. I appreciate it again. Thanks for all the love and support. I'll talk to you soon. Deuces.